Hello, this is a panoramic video of our tiny house built in 2022. It's built on a 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight trailer, brand new. The house is eight and a half by 20 foot on the outside. It has three windows, a water hookup and an electric hookup. The electric hookup is a 50 amp supply. It comes with leveling jacks. The windows are single hung and the sizes are in the listing. And all of the water drains to one three inch PVC pipe that you can connect to a black water tank or to a septic system. Welcome to our tiny house. The stairs here are included. Uh, you will have to ship them set or transport them separately because they're too big to fit through the door. We have a 36 inch steel door with a deadbolt. And we have a, a ceiling light and fan with separate wall switches. Coming in here to the right from the, from the front door, we have the bedroom, which is sized for a queen bed. And it does have a sliding track, so you can hang a curtain and have some privacy. And you have a, a single hung, hung window and a tilting LED recessed light with a wall switch. Above the bedroom, you have about two and a half feet of storage space. And there's also dual reading lamps for over the bed, each with their own switch. There's a 50 amp, um, 240 volt, line one, line two, neutral and ground circuit breaker. There's a circuit breaker for the lights, a circuit breaker for the outlets, a circuit breaker for the electric water heater, and a circuit breaker for the bathroom. Coming out of the bedroom, you have space for a love seat and a small dining room table if you choose to do so. And there is a light underneath the water heater cabinet for the dining room table. The water heater is an electric water heater. It's a seven gallon mini tank uh, with shut off valves and a vent outside for overpressurization. We have the kitchen in our tiny house. We have a small refrigerator, electric refrigerator. We have four open shelves and an overhead light with its switch. There are three outlets over the counter, and in addition, there is an outlet underneath each shelf. If you wish to hang a light under the shelf, you would not use up your counter outlets. Uh, we have a butcher block countertop with a sink, and it does have an inset of board for more counter space. And it is a fairly deep sink with a basket in the bottom. The faucet uh, pulls out for spraying. And we have uh, a cabinet here to the side with three drawers. They are soft closed drawers, uh, one small and two large. Underneath the sink, we have a custom cabinet with a sliding door, a shelf in the back, and some open space there for storage. We have a stove that runs on propane. The propane tank is on the front of the house, and it has an oven and a, an under drawer and four burners. And then over here to the right of the stove, we have another small cabinet with a soft closed door and a shelf back there in that cabinet. And then over the, over the bathroom, there is a little bit more storage about uh, 12 to 16 inches. Now we have our bathroom. It has a sliding folding door. It does latch, but not lock. And we have an RV toilet. You press the Press it down halfway to fill it. And then if you want to flush it, you press it all the way down. The walls are paneling, just like all of the walls in the house. And there is a, 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 a low profile LED light with a fan. And there is a 32 inch square shower. 
with some uh, corner shelving. And as previously mentioned, all of the uh, drains go to one three-inch PVC pipe, so that includes the shower, the toilet, and the kitchen sink. Uh, the walls are two by six insulated. The floors are two by ten uh, insulated over the trailer deck, and the, the ceiling is insulated as well. So I hope you enjoy.